Okay, this video is how to fit the crossbars to the roof rails on the Range Rover L322. Um, so actually the bars that we supply, they, they come with a little bit of blue film over the locking tape that you can remove to it's protected to give the shiny finish. You can see there the reflection. Okay, now the first thing you've got to do is to, to get the keys. Um, so you get the key and you insert the into the, the lock obviously and then turn it. You can then remove the um, then pull that out and, and remove that so you can put that to one side okay and then what what this allows you to do is to lift up this this lever here which is is how you adjust it drives some little cams on the end which is what locks it into the roof rails so that's how that bit works now the other thing to note on these bars is that the the um, they're adjustable in terms of length to get them to fit exactly right onto your car and what you've got here is this little plastic sleeve that you can see pushes back and that exposes um, a bolt here so it's an allen head bolt okay and it's using a h3 I don't know if the camera focuses there so it's a h3 and what you can do then is you can loosen that okay and that loosens the clamp okay underneath that, that gold plate you can see there and allows you then to slide the rails in and out okay so you can slide them in and out to, to fit the roof now what you've got to do is they're, they're the same on both sides so you need to loosen both sides um, fit them to the car we'll show you that step now and the space here should be equal on the left and the right side so they should be equally spaced okay so we'll go on the car and try that now Okay, and when you've got the width right, and you've got it equal on both sides, they slide in, okay, like so, into the, what we can do is we can push them along, okay, and you've got to do it, obviously get, get them to go the same amount each side at the time, so just do them a bit, a bit at a time, okay, that's it, and then, what, what you do is when you line it up then you need to line the inside up with one of the, the grooves you see there and then when you when you pivot the locking mechanism down it actually goes in see if you get it lined up right it goes in you can see the little cam going in and that locks it into place okay and then I'll just go and grab the key and show you how that you lock the clamp in that in, slide that in, so when the key is in the up um, up to down position that's open so if you turn it horizontal and pull it out that's locked. Um, then obviously when you've got it in position make sure you tighten the, the top screw okay and then just pull the finishing strip over to hide that and that's do that on both sides that's the job done. One point to note is that if you do have a supercharged or have the roof aerial fitted to your car, they do clear that. Okay, so that's the roof crossbars fitted. And then the last job you've got to do, obviously, is just clip on the end cap. Okay, so we've done it on the rear one. Um, the front one, in theory, you could slide all the way along, but it's probably better to fit it from the front of the car. But it's really a two person job to fit to slide those bars in, so you do it equally. Okay, that's the finished job.